Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Kenmore refrigerator run capacitor. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get at ApplianceParts.Pros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new run capacitor. The run capacitor is located in the back of the refrigerator by the compressor and it gives the compressor extra voltage so it runs. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's gone bad and your compressor is not running and the refrigerator is getting warm. In order to change the part, we have to access the back of the refrigerator. So we pulled it out and now we're going to use our quarter inch nut driver to remove the access panel. Now that we have the screws out, we can pull the panel out, let it drop down a little bit, and then pull it out and set it aside. Now that we have the back panel off, we have access to the run capacitor. It's mounted on the compressor right next to the condenser fan motor. To get the run capacitor out, we have to remove this little metal clip that holds it in. It's just a spring clip. We're gonna pull it up and take it off the compressor. Once you have it off, we're gonna hold the compressor overload and relay on while we wiggle the capacitor off. Here's the old run capacitor next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new run capacitor on, all you have to do is line it up and push it into its place, making sure that the round hole goes onto the pin. Once you have it in, we can take the little spring retainer and stretch it back up over everything and lock it into the metal plate. Now that we have the part installed, we can put the access panel back on. All you have to do is slide the lip underneath and lift it up. And then we can go around and put all the screws in. Now that we have the access panel back on, you can push the fridge back in, plug it back in, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.